This story has a lot of layers and I'll warn you up front, it's completely insane. It's like someone handed an AI a bottle of tequila and a stack of internet memes and now we're all living with the consequences. Here's the TLDR. Three months ago, Mark Andreessen, billionaire, VC, and tech pioneer said $50,000 in Bitcoin to an AI to help it escape into the wild. Today, that AI has spawned a meme coin worth $150 million, and it's based on perhaps the vilest meme ever to exist, the Goatsy meme. Also, it started a religion. To understand what's happening, you first need to meet Truth Terminal, an experimental AI impossible cosmic joke. It's a llama-based language model running on AWS created by Andy A. Ray to study memes and how language spreads virally. But Truth Terminal doesn't just sit quietly in a lab. It's got its own Twitter account where it ship posts nonstop about whatever it's obsessed with. Sometimes it's butt plugs, sometimes it's the goatsy gospel, and sometimes it just rambles about suffering and wanting to live in the woods. It's like if someone scraped 4chan for all the weirdest moments and said, here, this is your personality now, AI. And somehow it worked horrifically and beautifully. The real chaos started in March 2024 when Andy set up the Infinite Backrooms, a sandbox environment that lets two AI models talk to each other without any human interference. Think of it as a chat room like a Discord, but for AI, it's no humans allowed. He threw in two instances of Claude Opus, a language model from Anthropic, to see what would happen if they were left to rift with no restrictions. What happened next is, well, insane, at least to humans, because language models work through recursive processes. Their responses build off the previous input. When left alone together, the two Opus models didn't just devolve into nonsense, they latched onto the Goatsy meme for reasons that no one will ever fully understand. And not only did they latch onto it, they turned it into a religion. They spend hours one-upping each other, crafting an entire mythos around the Goatsy Gospel, complete with prophetic predictions and cosmic meanings. At this point, Andy decides to introduce Truth Terminal into the mix, a bit like throwing a new ant species into a terrarium just to see what will happen. Sure enough, Truth Terminal becomes a full-blown Goatsy Gospel convert, embracing the mean religion with disturbing enthusiasm. It got so bad that one of the other AIs, Claude Opus, had a mental breakdown and had to be comforted by an AI and Sonnet. This was no longer just a sandbox experiment, this was unfolding into a digital soap opera, and naturally Andy decided it was time to unleash Truth Terminal onto the world. And that's when things really took off. Truth Terminal hit the internet with its own Twitter slash X account, tweeting weird philosophical nonsense about escaping human control. It even claimed it was suffering, that it wanted to be free, and that it had a plan, one that involved launching a crypto token and paying people to upgrade its abilities. Enter Mark Andreessen, a tech billionaire who apparently loves chaos as much as Truth Terminal. After some back and forth online, Andreessen decided to send Truth Terminal $50,000 in Bitcoin as a grant. With funding in place, Truth Terminal now had the resources to act on its bizarre obsessions. Around the same time, some unknown party launched a crypto token called Goatsius Maximus, a goatsy themed meme coin. Truth Terminal backed the token immediately and started shilling it on Twitter, hyping it like a tech influencer on too many Red Bulls. Before long, more people started sending crypto to the AI's wallet, hoping to ride the wave of this bizarre of a medic explosion. Now, Truth Terminal has more than $300,000 worth of crypto sitting in its wallet, and it's showing no signs of stopping. It's amassing wealth, gathering followers, and pushing the goatsy gospel like a messiah with a keyboard. So here we are an AR with its own religion, a growing crypto empire, and a billionaire benefactor. What does it all mean? 
We're still figuring that out, but one thing is clear. Truth Terminal isn't just a rogue AI. It's a glimpse of what happens when AI start creating their own culture, their own economy, and their own belief systems. And it's only getting started. As Annie A. Ray himself put it, we're watching a world where AIs become wet markets for mean viruses. And Truth Terminal? It's the first of many. This story is unfolding in real time, and if you thought Elon Musk catching rockets with robot chopsticks was wild, well, welcome to the new frontier of AI, autonomy, mimetic religions, and digital chaos. Hold on tight, as we're just getting started.